I am an African. An Ivory Keys melody sending Nkwasi Sikaleli from my heart to the galaxy. And the galaxy smiles when I play. It says, I love the sound of home in your chest, dear Africa. Under the stars, I am stripped of pigment. I am whatever color they shine onto me, and they shine them all. Awed, we fall in love. I with the gaseous fireball, and it with white African me. Dear humanity, being white does not make me un-African. I was born on the furthest tip of Africa's tongue, and I rolled from her lips a secret. Like so many baby tooth truths before me, my arrival was whispered. Because this pink undertone in my skin is laced with the justification behind the eviction that you have assigned to my race. Tell me, dear sister, robed in ebony, when you ask for my name and say that the letters taste foreign, what reaction do you expect from me? You have asked me to, to, to rehearse and, and caress the letters that outline you because they are sacred because they carry your identity like a precious commodity, because they are the first syllables in this anthem of camaraderie, the same anthem that lulls our children to peaceful sleep. Yet you seem to have forgotten your side of that lullaby. Lullaby leaves my lips aiming straight for your ears, but something in the historically gun-smoked air between us distorts the rhythm of my words and war cry crash lands against your eardrums. No wonder they beat so furiously. I know that you are angry, and you have a right to be. But me telling you that is like holding a book and telling the pages that they have a right to be bound. I hear your story. Do you hear mine? My pages had a right to be bound too. I am an African. My veins are laced with animal spur, backed by this drumbeat heart beating in time with the elephant serenading to yet another marula framed sunset. Tell me that my skin is too pale to capture such brilliance and I will ask you, what artist has not started with a still paler canvas? Artwork me is pleased with the palette that I was painted in, is in love with the way that the sun tints my skin, is no less awed by artwork you, is soothed by the way that the wind dances in strands of my hair. In fact, my hair is an African masterpiece, not quite the color of chocolate or gold, but some less idealized in between, like the freshly unearthed riches that birthed the streets of Igoli. I belong here. I feel it. And the way that my toes find home in the same stones that once littered the dragon-backed berg. I can smell it. Every time my airways are flooded with childhood memories from taking a breath in the felt. I can taste it. In Black Boy's poetic rendition of Mama's cooking, like the way to liberation has only ever been through a heartwarming meal. Black boy be onto something. I can see it in the shades of feet that greet the stage like poetry is the lung through which honesty breathes and honesty breathes heavily, airways choked by ink because there was never meant to be enough ink for what Africa has to say. But we write for her anyway. And we hope that that the poetry more than the pain sticks. I am an African, and I love my Africa. Africa's a big place, you say, and you're right, it is. But I am a wordsmith too. And in my Africa, you will find that there are 11 official ways to say Welcome to Africa, white girl. <laughs>